running's going really well. Um, there was a new climb on the route, so uh, I tried that and it was absolutely brutal. Um, very, very steep, and at the same time it decided to snow as well. And it wasn't that light fluffy snow, it was the heavy stuff. The one that really hurts. Um, got through that now. Um, and this looks like quite a nice part of the route. Um, I feel like I'm on the home stretch now, but my watch has messed up and my phone, so I've got no idea how far I've run. Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to another episode of the vlog. So, it's been a little while again, I keep saying that all the time, but um, it's been a busy few weeks, uh, what with work and the training again, and with it being winter as well, I'm not really getting the opportunity to go out and actually film running because every one of my runs is in the dark these days. So, yesterday I went for a really long run, um, it was part of the SW50 course again, so it's similar to what I did before um, in a video. I don't know how long ago, it would have been back in maybe June or July or something. And that was one of my favourite runs, so I thought I'm going to go out and do that again. It was very, very different to last time. The summer was absolutely boiling and it was all about keeping hydrated and stuff. And this time it was very, very cold, very windy and uh, like the ground was a lot like solid underfoot but I had a great run again I uh, really enjoyed that course and that was about 22k and yeah I felt really good so buzzing now really confident really happy um, finally feel like I've turned the corner properly because pretty much since the fall back in September it was the latter part of 2018 was a write-off really. If you look back at my Strava and things, I managed to get some runs in and have did the Cardiff Half Marathon and things, but for the most part, um, it was a tough couple of months. But then I had two or three weeks off in Jan, no, sorry, two or three weeks off at the end of December, and then started running again in Jan, and I've been running now for five weeks, and I'm feeling really good. I've been consistent and I'm getting stronger. So so back in uh, the last video, you probably would have seen something about the, the movement work that I'm doing with Pete at Sport Function. Uh, we've come along quite a way now. I think we're about five weeks in, six weeks or something like that. And I'm starting to see some decent progress now. I'm feeling, feeling happy with it all um, in terms of running. Um, I'm managing to do, I'm doing three runs a week and we decided we we're going to just set um, a 30k baseline for January uh, per week and then I'm starting up in that now when we're into February. I'm going to build up towards 40k weeks and then 50k weeks in March and so on. Um, but yeah, running, feeling strong, the exercises and work that he's given me seems to be really working. Uh, running wise I'm not feeling as many aches and pains when running and I feel like it's a lot more efficient which is really good but the trick is now to try and sustain that um, into my higher mileage weeks in a few months times um, and the really long runs as well when my body is tired and fatiguing that's when this all needs to come together so anyway good progress so far um, long runs are going well uh, strength training is going really good too. So I've been uh, going to the gym quite regularly now, twice a week, and try to keep it simple. I've got a few exercises that work for me, and I might add to this over time, especially as I get more exercises um, off Pete. But for now, it's uh, deadlifting, it's single leg squats, um, it's calf raises, and mountain climbers. Um, I'm really enjoying all those. They seem to be hitting a bit of everything and um, certainly my legs just feel strong now, which is really good. 
Um, over the last couple of weeks, I've done quite a bit of training. I had one race, which was two weeks ago now, and that was probably the worst run that I've had in the last five weeks. That's probably the only run I've come out of thinking, oh, that was not good. And not from a performance point of view, it was more from how my legs were feeling. Uh, the calves were absolutely killing from the start. It was like back to that old problem of the the, the kind of high pressure calf pain versus kind of that swollen feeling that I talked about quite a few times in the past. So and it just so happens that I have got my appointment tomorrow with the hospital for them to do the pressure tests on the compartments in my calves. So with any luck tomorrow, we will find out if that's actually what I have, if I have got compartment syndrome in my calves, or if it's, if it's not that, and um, I can at least tick that off as something that it's not, and I can look at other things. So I'm hoping next week to do another another long run around the 20k mark and then the week after that I've got a half marathon so um, that should be good uh, that'll be a nice uh, little test to see how I'm feeling um, I think the best part about the last five weeks the thing that makes me happy the most is the consistency so set of 30 kilometers a week and across three runs and that's what I've been doing. I've done that five weeks in a row now and the two SREM sessions a week. So I've been consistent with all those things and I'm really starting to see the benefits again. So back at it now. Um, I'm hoping that it'll start to get a bit warmer soon. Uh, but I know it's still only February, but it won't be long before it starts to get a bit lighter in the evenings. And I cannot wait for that because I can start taking the camera out again. All right, so thanks for checking out the video, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I had quite a lot of fun editing this one, actually. So I will be back next week uh, with more training videos. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.